Hey everybody, welcome back to the series of videos on this power supply. Last week I showed you a video where I checked the voltage of this thing and observed what this little light here does. And the issue with the power supply is, despite putting out power on its main rails, any connected PC will not post. So if you didn't see the first video, let's go ahead and do a quick run through. In power off, we have a green light. When we check our 5 volt standby wire, which is a purple wire. We have about 5.1 volts. Let me move the meter so you can see it better. So 5.1 volts. I'm going to power up the power supply. Observe what happens to the little green LED on the back. As you see, the light is out. I'll demonstrate that again since I knocked my hand into the thing by mistake. When it's off, again, it lights up, but when the power supply is switched on, it goes out. Check our voltages. Again, just like last time. Orange wire gives us 3.3. Blue wire gives us minus 12. Red gives us about 5.2. Now again, this power supply has no load on it other than its artificial load inside. 12 volt gives us, you know, the, the yellow wire, it gives us um, 12.03. So, the orange is 3.3 volt, red is 5 volt, yellow is 12. 5 volt standby gives us about 5.1, that's the purple wire. But the gray wire, we have 0. The gray wire is the power good feed. And it sends a logic signal to the motherboard to tell it if, if the power supply checks out okay to switch on, you know, actually in post. When power good is active, you should have 5 volts off the power good wire, but we're getting zero. So despite the power supply um, outputs being okay, the motherboard will refuse to post because power good has not been satisfied. So as I mentioned in the previous video, you know, I looked inside this thing, I didn't see anything wrong. No fail caps, nothing like that. With the voltages, you know, with the voltages being in spec, or, you know, right there in spec, and you know, giving us a load on this thing, um, it should, it, it should, the, the power good line should be high. It should be five, not zero. Likely what's going on here is it could be a bad supervisory chip. You know, I think the supervisory chip is what actually um, sends out the power good signal to the motherboard. And if it, again, if it's not high, it's a no-go. Now what's neat is these Hypro units, along with the, some of the best tech power supplies in the OEM PCs, typically have this little green LED on the back. When the power supply is turned off, you'll see the LED lit up. That tells you the power supply is giving 5 volt standby to the motherboard. Now when the power supply is active, you may think, oh, it's just 5 volt standby, but no. When the power supply is switched on, this LED will go up for about a second and come back on. 
when it comes back on, it is then telling you that power good is high. It's good. But in this case, when the power supply is running, it's not lit up. So it's not giving power good to the motherboard. So the motherboard will not post. You see when I switch it off, the LED comes back on. So when I switch it off, yeah, it goes off. You want to switch it back on. It goes out. But it should come back on in less than a second. But it's not. So, that's why this power supply, when you have it inside of a PC, the PC will not post. That's what's wrong with this thing. It's not giving power good to the motherboard. It's something that can be easily overlooked. It's not exactly a very common issue, but, I mean, a lot of times when I get computers with bad motherboards, it's actually a bad motherboard. Um, you know, computers that don't post, it's typically a bad motherboard or bad RAM or something like that, but um, most of the time power supplies are giving their, their power good when they're supposed to, but this one here clearly is not. So, it's something to check if you got a computer that is giving a no post um, issue where the system starts but you get no post. Check the power good signal, which is the gray wire. Take the negative of your, uh, the, take the black of your multimeter, stick it somewhere in the case on the, you know, on the actual chassis to a ground source, and take the positive and probe it into where the gray is. And check and see if you get five volts when a power supply is powered on. Hopefully this is helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.